and welcome my name is heroin bob and welcome to bob buys where i am going to do an it's sold video for this video this is going to be 10 items that i have sold on ebay for the month of may in 2019 i am at my office as you guys can tell which is where i normally do these videos and that is so that way i can actually see my ebay sales and tell you how much i sold them for because i wouldn't be able to remember that i do not have that great of a memory so with that being out of the way, let's get started. So the first item I sold is this 511 tactical polo. I sold it overseas through eBay's global shipping program, which I was surprised about because this went to the UK. I sold it for full asking price of $29.97. I did find it new with tags at my honey hole, the CHKD, in a video that has not come out yet. <laughs> so I actually listed this the day I came home before I shot the whole portion of the video, so sorry about that. <laughs> but it sold for full asking price for $29.97 and I paid I think $3 for this shirt, even new with tags, so that was a great buy. And it was a nice money maker. The next item, the next item I'm gonna show you is this Denby England mug. This went to Alaska. <laughs> They paid to ship it to Alaska. They paid $12 to ship this mug to Alaska. Um, the Denby England stoneware mugs with this really gorgeous glaze, um, if you can find them at the thrift store, pick them up. They do sell very quickly. This sold within like three days of listing it. Um, I got $8 for it and I paid... Um, Our Goodwill does two mugs for $1.25 or... Yeah, I think it's $1.25. So I paid like 70 cents or something for this mug and I sold it for $8. Plus they paid for shipping, so that was a good find. Um, the next item, next item I'm going to show you, I'm sure this was a Father's Day purchase or a purchase for someone for Father's Day. This is a vintage Ralph Lauren polo tie. It is Irish linen. It is made in Ireland. It is made out of linen. It is a vintage tie. Um, with the little polo dude there. Um, I took a best offer of $20. I had originally listed for $26.97. I actually paid $3 for this at one of the local um, independent thrift stores. Uh, I really like that place because they only seem to know what depression glass is and they don't really seem to know what anything else is. So I find, I've, I'm glad I decided to go in there because they have very limited hours but they apparently get really good stuff donated to them and I found some amazing things there and this is one of them. So I paid $3 for this tie. I sold it within about like a week or two of listing it and I, I got $20 and this went first class shipping. So it was like three bucks to ship. Great, great sale. <laughs> um, this next item is a Tommy Hilfiger women's shirt. Um, this is a shirt that I had held on to for a while. I actually only paid $2 for this shirt at the Goodwill on like a half off day because women's and men's shirts are $4 and then I normally only get clothes that are the half off unless it's like an amazing piece. So I paid $2 for this. I sold it for a full price of $14.97. Um, so I made over $5 on this sale because it's free shipping, free, free shipping. So I made like seven or $8 on the sale. Um, it's just like a bread and butter item. If I could get these and turn them over all day, I would totally do that. This next piece that I'm going to show you is more mugs. Uh, I, I, like I said, guys, buy what you love. So that way, if you stick stuck with it, you're okay with it. Now, while I don't love smoking and do not uh, recommend doing that, uh, I did buy these mugs because I knew what they were. I did have a very good friend for a long while um, who smoked and I actually collected all of the little side pieces of her packages of cigarettes. It used to be that you could collect like box tops but cigarette pack tops and turn them in for branded merchandise. Uh, they stopped doing that. I think it was like rewarding smoking. So I don't know if it was like the government or something that cracked down on it, but they stopped that program. And this was one of the things that you could get in that program by turning in your cigarette pack tops. I don't know what else to call it. Um, this is a set of four stoneware um, Marmolo. I cannot say this brand of this company. It comes out backwards. I know. Just deal with it. Marmolo Unlimited Stoneware Mugs. Um, I got $36 for them. I did have to ship them. I think it was like $11 to ship them, 
but I only paid like four dollars for all of the mugs so it was a dollar a piece and so I made like 20 bucks off of the sale even taking a best offer of $36 with free shipping so that was a really nice sale making more than $20 off of a bunch of things that would have actually been free for someone to get anyway <laughs> But that's something, if you can find something that says Marvelo Unlimited, um, I would actually pick it up because of the fact that it was only available if you turned in things and a lot of people didn't do that. They just balled up their pack and threw it away. And because this program no longer exists, it's, it's kind of like a collectible piece. So if you can get it, pick it up. Um, this next piece I'm going to talk about, now this is a Bolo brand, this was my Bolo brand for May, I did write a piece about this, it's called Rag and Bone, it is a high-end New York brand, um, they're not that old, they've only been around I think for like a decade, I wrote more about it in my article, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I found these uh, in one of my first videos that I did, which I will link up here somewhere, um, where I went to my parents' house for dinner and I managed to find a lot of really good stuff at the thrift stores in Gloucester. I cannot believe I found this piece in Gloucester because again this is a high-end New York brand. So I found a piece of Rag and Bone um, shorts, men's plaid shorts. I sold them for the full asking price of $34.97. Um, I paid four dollars for them so that's another piece where I made twenty plus dollars on the sale so very nice. <laughs> Um, this is a piece, this is another really good brand to look out for if you like to look at women's clothes. Um, Lily Pulitzer dresses, they do sell for very, they do sell for a decent amount of money if you can get them cheap enough. Um, again, because the dresses here at Goodwill are $7 a piece, um, I don't buy them unless they're half off, so I only paid $3.50 for this dress. I sold it, as you can see, for $24.97. Uh, I did hold on to this dress for a little while because it's an extra small. Um, you can get better deals in extra small and extra large pieces, but the extra large pieces sell faster. But I still made quite a bit from this. I made probably around $15, $17 off of this dress because it was first class shipping to ship and it was free shipping. Alright, so this next piece was also in a video that I did, which well again link up above. Um, this is the diesel shirt that I showed you guys in that haul video. I was able to get $18.97 for a t-shirt <laughs> because it's diesel. Because it's a diesel brand t-shirt I was able to get full asking price of $18.97 for a you know two or three dollar t-shirt that I found at the thrift store. I love it. Um, and this one is also in that video that I talked about with the rag and bone. And in the same video, I picked this up because I thought it was interesting. This is a Pusser's West Indies uh, XL like boat polo. I got it. It's like it's a sailing polo. It's very heavy, like canvas cotton. Uh, and it was in a larger size, which is why I picked it up. It was also really, really cheap. I think it was like three bucks or something like that. I bought it because it was really interesting. I didn't know the brand. I looked it up. I couldn't really find a whole lot of comps on it. Um, but I, I went with my gut and I was like, this is interesting. It's in a good size. I think I can sell this. And I was actually still able to send this first class shipping. So at $20, um, only for a few dollars investment, I still made around 10 bucks on this piece. And uh, I'm glad I went with my gut on that one. So if you're not sure, go with your gut. Also, large sizes sell really well. So definitely get those. The last piece I'm going to talk about is a pair of shoes. I am slowly working through my shoe death pile. Um, the reason why it is a shoe death pile is because when I get a pair of shoes, I normally tend to gravitate to leather shoes um, because those are the easiest ones to clean, even though they do take time. So if I'll buy leather shoes um, and clean them, condition them, and buff them. And that's why it takes a little while, is because it takes a little while for me to do that. But it can be worth it. So I got this pair of Al Alegria size 36 shoes. I took a best offer of $25 on them. I believe I paid like 4 or $5 for this pair of shoes. So at $25, I'm still making a $15 profit off of them, even having to send them um, in a padded flat rate. 
So that's what I did. I sent this on a padded flat rate, paid five dollars for it. I still made around ten to fifteen dollars, as I said. So hopefully this is helpful. These are ten items that I sold in the month of May. Um, I will link down below to my reseller blog. Uh, I made the ambitious goal of writing in it every day knowing that I definitely would not do that but I do write on it quite frequently and I think that has interesting and useful information in it I would hope anyways I hope you guys like this um, if you do give it a thumbs up if you didn't you can give it a thumbs down engagement is engagement and it actually doesn't hurt my feelings at all and uh, I will hopefully see you guys in the next video and go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you did like the video in addition to the thumbs up button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!